Welcome to Dalat International School. We are driven to provide excellence in education. Welcome to Dalat International School. We provide a first class education through academic, athletic, and biblical instruction for students in preschool through grade 12. Welcome to Dalat International School. We are a fully accredited college prep school with an American style curriculum. Welcome to Dalat International School. Our academic and boarding programs are fully accredited by the Association of Christian Schools International and by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. Welcome to DeLot International School. Our teachers are all trained in North America and many of them hold advanced degrees in their fields of study. Our student teacher ratio is 8 to 1. Welcome to DeLot International School. Our students consistently score far above the SAT national average. Welcome to Dalat International School. Dalat graduates have been accepted to numerous prestigious colleges and universities, including the University of Illinois, Georgia Tech, Harvard, and Azusa Pacific University. Welcome to Dalat International School. Dalat has students from all over the world, representing 21 countries. Welcome to Dalat International School. Since 1929, Dalat has been giving students an education for life. Uh, we have a great preschool and elementary school program. We have a three and four year old preschool program. Uh, and it's set up just to introduce them into uh, uh, what school is all about. It's a fun time. Kindergarten, we uh, start studying some of the standard subjects. Uh, first grade uh, through fourth grade would be regular academic grades like you'd have in a North American school. Uh, it includes math and Bible and science and social studies and language arts. Uh, they'll get a good background in uh, learning how to read and comprehend well. And uh, we do it in the context of uh, learning about what God has created, about His world. We also have uh, weekly classes in uh, music and art. Uh, they'll go to a library each week. Uh, they'll have a computer class each week in our computer lab. Uh, and then also, of course, physical education, where they get to uh, learn how to uh, work together as a team and how to get along together. And it's a fun place to be. Law middle schoolers have a blast. We have a lot of fun. We've got an awesome program that's specifically designed for their developmental needs, grades five to eight, that not only covers their core classes of English and math, social studies, language arts, and Bible, and we also do a lot of exploratory type classes. So we talk about journalism, band and choir, and uh, performing arts is a key aspect of our program, but then so also is physical education. Uh, we have study skills and leadership, a lot of different options for students to really develop and grow as a student. We also do SATs, which are the student advisory teams. Every student is put into a small group, and those are groups that meet together each and every morning to really focus in on the needs of middle school students. And they talk about things like organization, other middle school issues, and they really talk about character and building and developing themselves as uh, the future leaders of our world. Delot offers a high school with an American-style college preparatory program for grades 9 through 12. All of our classes, except for modern languages, are taught in English. We offer English and Bible, industrial arts, math, physical education, science, social studies, modern languages, technology, and visual and performing arts. For motivated students in grades 11 and 12, we have the advanced placement courses, which offer a student a chance to do college level work while still in high school. We also offer uh, the advanced merit diploma, which requires a more rigorous program of study, and then also has students participating in community service, as well as giving a senior exhibition. The advanced placement and advanced merit diploma are two ways in which our students are able to set themselves apart and get themselves ready for college. It's challenging as a school to objectively know how well we compare to other schools. There are two tools that we use to compare ourselves. And one of them is the Iowa Test of Basic Skills. And that is a test we give all of our students grades one through grade nine. It gives us two very valuable pieces of information. One, for teachers, it lets them know how they're doing. Are they teaching 
sufficiently the curriculum that they need to teach. And also it helps our students see how they've done from year to year. Mm -hmm. Parents can see my child is progressing, they're doing well in these certain subject areas and it highlights areas where they may need a little bit more work. And the other is the SAT which is a college entrance exam. And it helps universities and colleges see how well students are doing, and it measures what kind of success that they will have in college. Actually, we have some pretty exciting feedback from taking those tests. The national average for the SAT is about 503 on the verbal and 518 on the math, with a combined average of about 1,021. So to give you an idea how well our students did, in 2005 they got 560 on the verbal and 584 math with a combined score of 1,144. So it's 120 points higher than the national average. In 2006 they got a 553 on the verbal and a 626 on the math, which is a total score of 1,179, which is 150 points above the national average. So that shows that our students are learning the material well, they're well prepared for college, and we can see that also in the kinds of colleges and universities that they've been admitted to. Uh, many prestigious schools, uh, challenging schools, uh, but yet schools that they are just well matched for, and that's very exciting to see. On the Iowa test of basic skills, our students have done very well, and it's exciting because we have students from many different nationalities, many of who are learning English for the first time. In the last several years, our students, compared to students who are taking the test in private schools, we are in above average, around 70 percentile. Compared to students in schools all across the United States, our students are above 75th, closer to the 80th percentile which is also very remarkable. And compared to schools in the United States, we're above 90th percentile. So that is a tremendous confirmation that our teachers are indeed teaching the curriculum well, and our students are learning well.